throw a lot of dinner parties. I'm always drunk. The employee discount is my favourite thing about this job. Mm. Boy, I like Tom. He's stocky and blonde and grins like he knows everything. And he's great at selling. Always slightly ahead in the stats. He has an open relationship, so I pursue them both. At their flat, I try to play footsie with his wife. When she goes to bed, I sit up and drink with him. He tells me he used to be a chef and demonstrates the proper way to poach an egg. <laughs> Another night like this, when I am not expecting it at all, he is the one who tells me they all know I'm trans. Or like, there's not unanimous accord on it, but there's been talk and he, of course, is sure. He says he knew the second that we met. Although I cry, although I implore him desperately, he can't explain this insight of which he is so proud. On Monday, I'll still have to meet his gaze and say hello. I'll have to meet everyone's gaze and pick up the fucking phone. Monday. I meet everyone's gaze and pick up the fucking phone. I don't control my thoughts, but I control my face. It's a good day if what you're asking me about is how much shitty wine I force people to buy. Computer. It has its programs. Dialer, targets, offers list. It's never tired. Never even gets turned off. Every morning, it's there. It says, call them, call them, ask them, do they need some wine? Then lie the way I prompt you to until they buy or else hang up. It is my frenemy. I cover it <laughs> with drawings I do of skulls or little cartoons of people who hate their lives. <laughs> I dance around the office and offer a single page of Blake to everyone. Songs of experience. I know they know, but apart from Nick, who I finally kiss, I never mention it to anyone at all. Car park. They have this model wine press in the parking lot, full size. I'm inside, calling my mother on the phone and saying, this can't go on. I do not tell her that they figured out I'm trans or that Ben left. I miss him so. I cry to Ryan Adams songs. I do not say, my understanding of myself is a dead end. I can't be normal. It doesn't work. Instead, I say, perhaps this isn't the right career for me. Perhaps I'm not cut out for office work. Sorry. Inside the tun, against the cheap oak planks, peering through the gap, getting ready to turn and run. Resignation. I'm never going to feel again. I almost want to give up wine. All I did was lose and lose. Um. Um, so yeah, that was, that was one about a job. Um, jobs are terrible. You know what else is terrible? Relationships. Um, <laughs> So here's one about a relationship, because we're clearly on terrible things tonight. Um, this is about an ex of mine. Her name is Amy, um, and it is called Fucking Amy! <laughs> um, it's in three parts. The first one is called Fuck! <laughs> Fuck you, Amy, you are a pain in the arse. Why do we have to sleep on the couch? Why won't you let me touch you more? What does it take to make you smile? Listen, shut up, you are pretty. I actually do think you're beautiful. Bony, bodo, bon blah, bony body, narrow arms, Thailand vagina, I know it's shallow, but I like to put my fingers in it. 
Listen, I know we're breaking up. I know we are never getting back together. I know you are a fucking nutcase. But I'm still in love with you, all right? The second one is called... You! Never fuck another trans woman. They are all crazy bitches. They bite, scratch, hide, hate things, just like I do. Oh my god. Why are we all so hurt, so angry? I wish I could have found a way to heal either one of us. I wish you could have forgiven me for being one of us. I wish my love meant healing too. Whatever. Fuck you, Amy. I had enough. You wanted me to go away? We both got what we wanted from this. I hope you're happy with how it went. And the third one is... Amy!